The Philippine Space Agency FILSA, a proposed space agency intended to manage the operate the Philippine government's space program which is currently decentralized and handled by various agencies of the Department of Science and Technology DUST. Topic. History The Philippine space program has two primary challenges, insufficient funding and the lack of a centralized agency to manage the space program. In an absence of a formal space agency, the Department of Science and Technology DUST, funds a national space development program to set up the foundations of a future space agency. Several government agencies under the DUST currently maintains the country's space program are the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration Pagasa, the National Mapping and Resource Information Authority NAMRIA, and the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council NDRRMC. The DUST and the Manila Observatory crafted a 10-year master plan in 2012 to make the Philippines a space capable country by 2022 the philippine space program has two primary challenges insufficient funding and the lack of a centralized agency to manage the space program in an absence of a formal space agency the department of science and technology dust funds a national space development program to set up the foundations of a future space agency Several government agencies under the DUST currently maintains the country's space program are the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration Pagasa, the National Mapping and Resource Information Authority NAMRIA, and the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council NDRRMC. The DUST and the Manila Observatory crafted a 10-year master plan in 2012 to make the Philippines a space capable country by 2022 topic legislative history the philippine space agency is proposed to be established through legislation particularly through the 17th congress's philippine space act of 2016 House Bill 3637 and Philippine Space Act, Senate Bill 1211. On 27 November 2018, the House of Representatives passed the alternative bill, Philippine Space Development Act, House Bill No. 8541, on the second reading. The bill also provides for a Philippine Space Development and Utilization Policy PSDUP that shall serve as the country's primary strategic roadmap for space development and embody the country's central goal of becoming a space-capable and space-faring nation in the next decade. As of December 2018, House Bill No. 8,541 has been approved on the third and final reading with 207 affirmative votes with no votes against or abstentions. It will be attached to the Department of Science and Technology DUST, and the bill also creates the Philippine Space Development Fund to be used exclusively for its operation. The astronomical space-related functions of the Department of Transportation and DUST will also be transferred to the Philippine Space Agency, under the bill. The Senate version of the bill proposes the space agency to be attached to the office of the President instead of the DUST. Topic. Organization It is proposed that at least 30 hectares will be allocated to the FILSA for an official site within the Clark Special Economic Zone in Pampanga and Tarlac if the space agency is established. Topic. Activities and program According to the Department of Science and Technology, the Philippines already possess enough infrastructure to run a dedicated space agency. 
Since 2010, it has spent 7.48 billion pesos or $144 million for space research and development, aided 5,500 scholars, trained more than 1,000 space science experts, and established 25 facilities in various parts of the Philippines. It has also developed three small-scale satellites DIWATA-1, DIWATA-2, and Maya-1 and had them launched and deployed to space, while the immediate goals of the agency will not involve launching its own rockets like NASA and the JAXA. It is planned that the agency would pursue such goals in the long term. Topic. See also List of government space agencies Topic. Reference